Welcome to this lesson on types of solutions. When solving a linear equation, there are three types of solutions that you can get. So let's go over those and go over examples. The first type is probably the most common type and probably the one you have seen when we have been doing one step, two step, multi step equations. And that is one solution. There's only one solution. The equation has one unique solution that makes it true. So let's go over an example of that. So if I'm solving this equation, I'm going to, let's see, I can subtract x first from both sides. Then I can add 5 to both sides. And then divide by 2 on both sides. So x equals 7.5. So that is the one solution that will make this equation equal or true. The next one is no solution. When an equation has no solution, it means that there is no real number that can make the equation true. And this happens when the variables cancel out and the final equation is no longer true. So on this one, if I were to go to solve it, I could subtract 2x from both sides. But as you can see, my variables cancel on both sides. So I'm left with negative 4 equals positive 3. Well, negative 4 does not equal positive 3. So this has no solution. That means there's no number I can substitute in for x to make that equation true. It doesn't have a solution. And then the final type is an equation with infinite solutions. That means any real number can make the equation true. So this is when the variables cancel out, but the final equation is true. So if I were to solve this, I could distribute. So 5x minus 5. And you can already see right there, the equation is exactly the same on both sides. That's a good indication that it's going to have infinite solutions. So if I subtract 5x from both sides, they're going to cancel out. And I have negative 5 equals negative 5. That means there are infinite solutions to this problem, meaning I can plug in any real number and the equation will be true. All right, let's try some examples. All right, so number one, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm left with 5 equals negative 2. So the variables cancel, but the final equation is not true. So that means there's going to be no solution. So nothing that I plug in or substitute in for x will make that equation true. All right, next, let's see, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I have negative 12 equals 4, or sorry, 6x. And then divide by 6 on both sides. So that would be negative 2 equals x, or you can write it x equals negative 2. So that has one unique solution. All right, pause the video and try three and four by yourself. Okay, let's see how you did. So number three, I'm gonna distribute. Then I'm gonna subtract 10x from both sides. So negative 8 equals negative 8. That is true, so that means there are infinite solutions to this problem. I can plug in any real number, substitute any real number in for x, and the equation will be true. All right, number 4, we have like terms. So 8x minus 4x, that's 4x. And then divide by 4 on both sides. So x equals 4.5. So there is just one solution to this problem. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete the practices.